Hey there, I'm Anya the Tea Girl, and today I'm going to be walking you through how I set up my tea cart and brewing station. Being an avid tea drinker, I love having a dedicated station where I can brew up my daily tea, or more like daily teas. If it isn't obvious, tea is a really big part of my life so I like to showcase it. Not to mention having a dedicated tea setup adds some extra charm to my kitchen. So I'll walk you through step-by-step step how I organized and set up my tea cart. That way I can hopefully give you some inspiration for your own cart. The first step in setting up a tea or coffee station in your kitchen is finding a dedicated platform, whether that be a countertop, a kitchen hutch, or a cart as in my case. I personally prefer a cart because it's mobile and super easy to move around if you're cleaning or have guests over. Now when you're shopping for a cart, you're going to want to make sure to get one that has two levels. That way you can use the bottom one for storage, you know, you can put your, your tea leaves or coffee beans down here, and then you can use the top level for actually brewing. Next up, you'll need vessels like these to store your tea leaves or coffee beans in. Since I exclusively drink loose leaf tea, I wanted to show off my tea leaves. So I opted for these glass jars over here. As you'll see, they all have varying heights. I really tend to view my tea leaves as art. Frankly, they're absolutely beautiful. And I wanna display them as such. Now, I just found these on Amazon, which means you can probably find them just about anywhere. Then I just filled them up with the loose leaf tea. This tea here is called Palm Bliss, and it's a marvelous green and black tea with pomegranate and raspberry, one of my personal favorites. And then I added the jars to the cart. Beautiful, yet so effortless. Since this is a tea brewing station, you'll want to add some functional items as well, like sweeteners. And the great thing is that you can dress them up too. Like for my simple syrup, I picked up this beautiful ceramic olive oil bottle. And it's perfect for sweetening my iced teas. Now, I don't know about you, but I'm not the biggest fan of sugar bowls. I tend to get my sugar everywhere. So I picked up these really cool vessels on Amazon where you can just pour the sugar out. And lastly, for my honey, I was gifted this stunning glass blown bottle that I now use to store my honey. The main takeaway here is that you should try to get creative in how you store and display your sweeteners. Odds are you can probably find a beautiful vessel for just about anything. Since I primarily brew loose leaf tea, I also store my strainers on the cart. I picked up these black hooks that I attach to the side of the cart and hang my strainers from, and it's perfect. Two more items I've added to my cart are a tablespoon or teaspoon and a spoon rest. Again, you can get as fancy with it or not as you like. Now my cart unfortunately isn't near an outlet, but if yours is, I recommend storing your hot water boiler on the cart as well. Now for the fun stuff, decorations. I feel a plant is a must. You really can't go wrong with adding one to your station, and it really helps to brighten it up. I opted for a pothos plant because they're really easy to care for, and frankly, I don't have much of a green thumb. And last but not least, you may want to also display your coffee or tea mugs. Now in my case, I have so many that I display them on another shelf in my living room and I just walk over and grab a new cup every time I'm going to make some tea. So now that we have our brewing station all set up, let's put it to use and make a cup of tea. If you found this video helpful, please be sure to like and subscribe to my channel. And if you're looking for any specific tea content or tips, please leave a comment so that I can make a video just for you.